we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the, in the highest, highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, in your mysterious wisdom, you fill out the passion of Christ through the suffering that his members endure in the many trials of his life. As you choose to have the mournful mother stand by your son in his agony on the cross, grant that we too may bring love and comfort to our brothers and sisters in distress. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Judith. All the people were greatly astonished. They bowed down and worshipped God, saying with one accord, Blessed are you, our God, who today have brought to naught the enemies of your people. Then Uzziah said to her, Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God, above all the women on earth, and blessed be the Lord God, the Creator of heaven and earth, who guided your blow at the head of the chief of our enemies. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. May God make this redound to your everlasting honor, rewarding you with blessings because you risked your life when your people were being oppressed and you averted our disaster, walking uprightly before our God. And all the people answered, Amen, Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is merciful to every creature. The Lord is merciful to every creature. I will extol you, my God and King. I will bless your name forever. Every day I will bless you. I will praise your name forever. The Lord is merciful to every creature. One generation praises your deeds to the next and proclaims your mighty works. They speak of the splendor of your majestic glory, tell of your wonderful deeds. They speak of your fearsome power and attest to your great deeds. The Lord is merciful to every creature. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in love. The Lord is good to all, compassionate to every creature. The Lord is merciful to every creature. Please stand. There, by 
the cross of Jesus stood his mother, firm in faith, strong in hope, burning with love. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother, and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Napakasakit para sa inang tulad ni Maria ang makitang naghihirap ang kanyang anak. Nabatid at alam niyang wala namang kasalanan. Tunay na masakit sa isang magulang lalong-lalo na sa isang ina na makitang pinapahirapan ang kanyang pinakamamahal na anak. Dalawa lamang ang maari niyang gawin. Una, ang umalis at lumayo na lamang upang hindi masaksihan ang pagpapahirap sa anak. O di kaya'y ang manatili at tiisin na makita ang anak na pinahihirapan. Sa ating Ebanghelyong binasa, nakita natin na mas pinili ni Maria ang manatili sa paanan ng krus kasama ng ilan pang mga kababaihan. Alam niyang wala siyang magagawa sa mga panahong iyon. Ngunit sa pamamagitan ng pananatili niya sa paanan ng krus, nagawa niyang makibahagi sa pagdurusang nararanasan ng kanyang anak na si Jesus. Nakayanan ni Maria na tiisin ang lahat ng sakit at pigati dahil sa kanyang matinding pag-ibig na nakatuon sa Diyos. Nakatayo si Maria sa paanan ng krus ni Jesus habang tahimik na nagdurusa at nahihirapan. Sa kabila ng hirap ng kalooban na natiling nakatuon ng kanyang puso at paningin kay Jesus. Wala siyang sinising sinuman sapagkat batid niyang ang lahat na nangyayari ay naaayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. Dahil sa pag-ibig ni Maria na kaya niyang manatili, naging matatag at maging matapang sa likod ng parusang hindi nararapat para sa kanyang mahal na anak. Sa kabila ng kahirapan, sa kabila ng sakit, pinili at nanatili si Maria sa paanan ng krus. Bilang mga Kristiyano at mga tagasunod ni Jesus, gaano man natin pinagsisikapan, pinagsisikapang iwasan ang krus ay laging bahagi at parte ng ating buhay. At minsan, hindi na natin kailangan pang lumabas, maglibot, upang makahanap ng krus 
na ating papasanin sapagkat nandiyan lang ito at minsan pa nga sobra-sobra pa at kulang pa ang ating dalawang kamay at braso para mahawakan at mapasan ang mga ito. Sa ating buhay, maituturing nating krus ang lahat ng mga aray, mga sakit, mga paghihirap, mga pangtatakwil, panghusga, paninira, at maging mga temptasyon na ating nararanasan. Simula na magpasya tayong maging tunay na kristyano at tapat sa pagsunod sa daan ni Jesus. Ang pagtupad at pananatiling tapat sa ating mga pangako at mga sinumpaan sa harap man ito ng tao o sa harap ng Diyos, bagamat mahirap, mabigat at puno ng mga pagsubok, ay maituturing na krus na dapat nating pasanin araw-araw. Ang walang sawang pagmamahal at pagintindi sa isang asawa o di kaya'y sa isang anak na naligaw ng landas at nalulong sa masamang bisyo o barkada. O sa isang kapamilya o di kaya'y katrabaho na hindi masyadong nakikinig ng mabuti sa ating mga instructions o payo o hindi siniseryoso ang ating mga sinasabi sa kanila bagamat para naman ito sa kanilang kabutihan. O isang problema at pagsubok na patuloy na nagpapahirap sa ating buhay o marahil isang sakit at malubang karamdaman ay maituturing din na ilan sa mga krus na kailangan nating matyagang kargahin araw-araw. Pagpasan ng krus, ang paglunok ng ating pride, ang pagpapakababa ng ating mga sarili para humingi ng tawad sa mga taong ating nasaktan at natapakan. O ang magpatawad sa mga nakasakit at patuloy na nagpapahirap sa atin. Krus rin ang pagtulong sa iba ng walang inaasahang kapalit. Krus ang pagpupuri, pagsasalita at pagpapakita ng mabuti sa iba at ang pagtaas at pagsuporta sa kanila sa halip na siraan husgahan at pabagsakin sila. Krus din kapag tayo ay hindi naiintindihan, tinatakwil at pinapabayaan ng ating pamilya, ng ating mga mahal sa buhay o ng mga taong inaasahan nating tutulong sa atin. Krus, kapag sa ating buhay puno ito ng kaguluhan at ang lahat ay tila wala sa lugar, wala sa timing, at wala man lang ni isa para samahan at damayan tayo. At tila maging ang ating mga dasal at hinaing ay hindi naririnig ng Diyos. Isang uri ng krus ang paggising ng madaling araw upang ipaghanda ang mga pangangailangan ng ating mga mahal sa buhay o ang patuloy na pagsasakripisyo at pagsisikap sa pagtatrabaho upang sa gayon matustusan at mapakain natin ang ating mga pamilya at mga anak. Krus ang pagsusunog ng kilay at pagpako ng ating mga puwet sa upuan upang mag-aral grumaduate at makapasa sa exam. Maituturing din na isang malaking krus ang tumayo rito sa harap ninyo at magdadaldal. O marahil ang maupo sa inyong pwesto 
at pigilan ng antok upang patuloy na makinig sa walang kwenta at boring na sermon na ito. Sa buhay natin, bilang mga takasunod ng Panginoon, marami tayong mga krus na dapat at kailangang pasanin araw-araw. At sa ating pagharap at pagpasan sa iba't ibang mga krus na ito, isang magandang paalala sa atin ang presensya ni Maria sa paanan ng krus ni Jesus. Si Maria ang ating huwaran sa pagsasabuhay ng bawat pasakit at hirap na ating dinadala sa buhay. Kung paano naging matibay si Maria, tapat at lubos ang pag-ibig hanggang sa kamatayan ng kanyang anak, ganun din dapat tayo kapag tayo na ay nagdaranas ng mga sakit at pagdurusa sa buhay. Tandaan natin, mas nagiging magaan din ang krus kung pinapasan natin ito ng may buong pusong pagtanggap at pagmamahal. Magagawa rin natin ang nagawa ni Maria kung sa harap ng mga pagsubok ay mananatili tayong nakatingin at nagtitiwala sa Panginoon. Sa paanan ng krus, si Maria ay naging ina rin natin. Bilang ating ina, hindi rin siya lalayo, hindi rin niya tayo iiwan. Kung kaya, tawagin natin siya, lalong-lalo na sa panahon ng matinding pagsubok sa buhay, sa mga panahong hinaharap natin at pinapasan natin ang iba't ibang mga krus sa ating buhay. Nariyan ang ating am ina, si Maria. Binigay siya ng ating Panginoon sa paanan ng krus. Kung kaya, gayahin natin siya, sundan natin siya, tawagin natin siya, kung tayo man ay nahihirapan at napapagod na sa pagpasan at pagharap sa iba't ibang krus ng buhay. Please stand. We now offer our prayers to the Father. Let us praise God, our Almighty Father, who wished that Mary, His Son's mother, be celebrated by every generation. Now in need, we ask for every petition we shall say, Father, look tenderly on us, your children. Father, look tenderly on us, your children. You gave Mary strength to stand by the cross of Jesus. May your church joyfully preach the power of the cross to all mankind, and that its healing power can touch people's lives. We pray. You endowed Mary with a maternal love for humanity that knows no boundary. May our government leaders serve the people in the spirit of charity, putting aside their personal interests and advancing the common good of the people, we pray. Father, look tenderly on us, your children. Mary received God's word with an open heart. May we free ourselves from useless anxieties and learn to entrust our life under God's loving protection, we pray. Father, look tenderly on us, your children. You deem Mary to be the comforter of the afflicted, May the young and the old, the poor and the oppressed, the sick and the dying be given proper care, we pray. 
Father, look tenderly on us, your children. You crown Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the faithful departed rejoice in your kingdom with the saints forever, we pray. Father, look tenderly on us, your children. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and God guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. Father, look tenderly on us, your children. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we pray. Father, look tenderly on us, your children. Merciful Father, as we call to mind Mary's suffering with Christ, grant that by carrying our cross each day, we may come to share in His resurrection. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the, for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for at your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, graciously receive the offerings of your family and make them the sacrament of redemption, which Mary faithfully served at the altar of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. In your divine wisdom, you planned the redemption of the human race and decreed that a new Eve should stand by the cross of the new Adam as she became his mother by the power of the Holy Spirit. So by a new gift of your love, she was to be a partner in his passion. And she who had given him birth without pains of childbirth was to endure the greatest of pains in bringing forth to new life the family of your church. Now with angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, we sing the unending hymn of your praise.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. 
Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, we have received the pledge of salvation, and now we offer this prayer. Grant that the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, pour out upon your church, may descend in power and of all peoples, whom Christ the High Priest claims as the reward of the sacrifice he offered on the cross in the presence of his sorrowing mother. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We will now have the prayer and blessing of the sick and also for the blessing of religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will be gratefully bless your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.